Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Digital Storm and I'm Dennis and today what we're going to do is set up an email client for Rain Loop and we're going to use the email client as Gmail. So you can use Gmail to send and receive all your information or all your emails from your domain name or email that you got set up for Rain Loop. Now this is a continuation or an, an, a, the second part of the uh, tutorial or video I posted earlier that show you how to set up an email server for free. So to get where we're at right now, unless you j this is the only section you need, but if if you need to look at the other video first, go, by all means go back look at it. It'll get you up to where we're at right now. It's called how to set up an email server for free. And then once you get that, you can understand where we're at right in here. Of course, I got my Vulture open because we're going to be needing the IP address, username, and passcode for a couple of things. But what I want you to do is open a new tab. And this right here, I'm going to type in kotzen.xyz colon 8090. And whatever email name you set up, during our time or domain name you set up during our time on the other video you add be the one you use of course when I click enter it's going to bring us into the cyber panel dashboard and once we get to there we're going to go down to emails click list emails select domain Kotzen XYZ of course as you can tell it shows us all how to configure mail clients, POP3, the IMAP, and the SMPT. Well, now what we need to do is go over to the left. You see email. Click it. Go all the way to the bottom and access webmail. Click that. It'll bring you to the front page of your Kotzen your, your whatever it is your login and we just use that mine is the case of dennis at kotzen xyz i enter my passcode and you could do the same for yours whatever your passcode was and click enter it'll take us to our email page and what we need to do now is go back over to cyber panel to email all the way back down to the bottom to the access access webmail click it again and it does the same thing but here's the thing y'all we're just trying to make it quicker for you so just go up to your bar go into it and click all the way back backspace it right until you get right in front of rain loop with the forward slash question mark admin this will take us to well, I was already logged in, so I'll, let me log out and show you where it takes you. This will take us to this login page for your admin. Now, just type in admin, unless you changed it to something different. And I did change my passcode, but for everyone who didn't, and it'll end up taking you to this page here, but everyone who didn't change their passcode and don't remember how to obtain it, I'm going to show you how to get that passcode. Go up to spotlight and hit terminal and of course if you're on windows go to putty and go, open it up and go to terminal it will show you something similar to mine and we got to what you call ssh root at into it and then we're going to go over to vulture where we got our ip address copy go back to our terminal paste and enter and also, you could just use your domain name. You know, I just use the IP address. They both work the same way. It's going to take me to the same place. And hit paste and enter. All right, y'all. We're in now. And uh, this is how you could get your admin uh, passcode for Rain Loop. You just type in VIM spacebar forward slash usr forward slash l o c a l local forward slash cyber cp forward slash public forward slash rain loop dot php and click enter 
see now it bring us to this where it says set passcode and all these letters and numbers inside those those parentheses just go ahead and highlight them and copy that because that's the one you're gonna have to go back and get into go back to your rain loop admin login you know it's the one was going to have the question mark admin on it and once you log in it's going to bring you to this page it's like mine it says rain loop admin panel of course go to domains you see in the last video we already set up all of our domains different ports different and of course we had this on port 587 it really doesn't matter if you get it on 587 or 465 there's a little bit of the difference at that time, but they both are secure ports, and we could test this, and you can see both of them are green. And what we're going to do now is go to Gmail, and we're going to set this up in order to send receive all mails from Gmail. Sometimes, it, uh, go open a new tab. Sometimes this thing takes a little bit of time to propagate in order for it to start sending and receiving. So uh, once I get it set up, I will pause the video for a few minutes and just make sure that it is correct. And then that way we can do. When you get in your Gmail account, you have already signed in. Go ahead and sign in. And then we're going to go to the, uh, the I guess it's a sprocket up there, cogwheel, the settings, and click it. Go down to see all settings, click it, and accounts and import. When you get down to use Google to send from your other email addresses, and that's what we're going to do on this particular video. And let me delete this out. And while we, we're going to click Add Email Address, of course, it pops up this name. It says Dennis Swinford, and then it's going to ask me for my email. And this case is Dennis at Cotson.xyz, and I'm going to treat this as an alias. Click next, and we're gonna click. I'm gonna take the mail off. I don't believe we need it. I'm gonna leave it on port 587. Username. I'm just gonna make it Dennis at Cotson.xyz. But you can make yours anything you want and type in your passcode. I'm leaving this on TLS. Uh, it says recommended. That's only because I'm on at 587 port. And of course, if you go to 465, it'll automatically change it over to SSL. They both are great. Uh, one's it's like a protocol. The other one's I think more like a coding or script. Uh, this SSL and this port here, basically you're encrypted from the time you start your email to the time you stop on both clients and your computer when you're sending back and forth email. On a TLS one, it's kind of like it got a start TSL script to it. Our coding, it basically it communicates openly between both computers, not encrypted, until they end up talking to each other and getting it encrypted that way. But whichever one you choose is fine. Go to Add Account, and now it's wanting to confirm verification and add your email address. So go back to Rain Loop. This is why I had you open to. And we could wait for it to pop, uh, pop in, or we could just click it a couple of times to refresh. But here we go. The Gmail confirmation. As you said, it's requested that I add this to my Gmail account. And I want to click copy. All right. And go back over to... Uh, click enter, paste, and verify. Now it's verified and it should be good, but sometimes it takes a few minutes. So I'm going to pause this video and I'll be right back with you. All right, everybody, I'm, I'm back. It literally took no time. It or, or, As soon as I paused the video from you and I went and looked, it was already working. I'm going to send another email. See, it's even showed it, it tested. Let me see, we're going to do it again. We're going to hit compose and i'm going to send it from my regular gmail to dennis at cotson.xyz and we're going to type in test this is my new email client and then i'm going to hit send of course as you see it's already sent it straight to google 
And Google accepted it and said, this is my new email client. I will reply to it and see does it come back to Google under the Kotzen or under to the Dennis my original looking great explanation mark send Let's, there we go so it it's putting all the tests in it's it's looking great it's it's doing everything as you can see it's going my Microsoft account is actually connected to the gmail account so it's it's actually sending it over there too but on my next tutorial i'm going to show you how to set up an email client for microsoft outlook so what i need y'all to do is hit like and subscribe to my channel uh comment below